don't know if I could have spelled that one. No, we're pickleless. Now <laughs> yeah. we all know. Got to get my spell checker out to make sure I'm good <laughs> on that. Uh, weather, you know, it's been quite calm today, quite warm and humid as well as we take a look right now at Allergy Report. Unfortunately, a lot of sneezing and sniffling and grass in the very high category trees in the moderate category, much of that being pecan and hickory. Mold in the moderate category, weeds are the only low one. But grass, unfortunately, you know, of course, with all the uh, green across green country, we are suffering as a result. Right now, dual Doppler, all is quiet for the most part here in northeast Oklahoma. Uh, maybe a little shower south of Muskogee, a little sprinkler too, but that's it. Not expecting much in the way of isolated activity over the next couple of hours, so that's going to be good. But rain chances will be on the increase, especially as we head towards Friday and Saturday. Rain chances going way up across the area and then diminishing as we head into early next week. And once we see those rain chances diminish, we're going to see those temperatures beginning to increase some. It's just that time of year where we start to have to deal with some heat across northeast Oklahoma. Been lucky so far, at least this month. But that could change as we had the next week or so. Looking at next 10 day rainfall totals uh, with the rain opportunity coming our way by the end of the weekend, the early part of the weekend, about a half inch to as much of an inch of rainfall possible here in northeast Oklahoma. Still, the heavier amounts are going to made to the west of us in western portions of the state. But all in all, we can take the rainfall. This is one of our wettest months of the year, so any rain we can get will be a good thing to preclude the drought from getting worse across the area. Temperatures as a result are going to be quite warm, humid the next couple of days, near 90 degrees on Thursday. Clouds increase, rain chances increase Friday into Saturday. And then as we head into next week, temperatures begin to rebound as those rain chances go down. I'll have to say, you know, if you're watching me, if, well, obviously if you're watching and you're thinking, okay, I got a plan, I've got chances for rain in the forecast. Uh, this is not the type of pattern where we're tracking a cold front that's coming in. We can say these storms are going to arrive from 3 a.m. To, to about 2 p.m. and then they move out or a strong storm system can bring severe weather. That's not where we're dealing. This very uh, weak pattern aloft. So these storm, these weak waves that come in our energy out from the west kind of meander in and it's really tough to depict timing and exact location. So while we have a pretty good chance for clouds and thunderstorms on Saturday, there could be some time still where we see some sunshine, warm weather, and some of you could still miss out on the thunderstorms. I kind of want to explain that, though, because this is not a typical weather pattern for us. As we take a look outside right now on our Wade's RV Weather Camera Network, it's warm and it's humid. Temperatures in the mid 80s. The 10 day forecast near 90 on Thursday, and then here comes a chance for increasing chances for storms Friday, Saturday into Sunday, diminishing early next week with temperatures rebounding as a result back into the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. We have much more for you coming up right after this.